Hi, I'm meteorologist Mark Collins here with an update this afternoon on Friday where Tropical Storm Nestor has now finally formed out of that big ball of clouds in the Gulf of Mexico. It doesn't really look like a tropical storm. It looks more like a wintertime storm, but the hurricane hunters have been in there flying and they've found some flight level winds around 80 miles per hour. So we're probably getting some hurricane force gusts in there. However, the circulation is quite not there to make this a hurricane. Nonetheless, a formidable tropical storm aiming towards Panama City and a perhaps a landfall there on Saturday morning. Winds at 60 miles per hour as of the latest advisory gusting to 70. Pressure holding steady at 1,001 millibars and that fast movement off towards the northeast at 22 means that it will be north of Jacksonville, actually more north of the Waycross area in central Georgia on Saturday evening. So it's going to move by very quickly and that will leave us wet here starting tonight and all day on Saturday. You can see a lot of that rain looks like it's falling down uh, in areas south of Jacksonville. That's uh, mostly Virga, though, because the air is dry at the surface. It's not reaching the ground. But as the entire weather profile, the atmosphere begins to moisten up, some of that rain will be able to fall down this evening. So that might be a problem around 8 and 9 o'clock here in the, the Clay County area and along the Highway 301 corridor, the best chances for seeing some early evening rain. So that's the track stretched out, looking pretty narrow because of the fast movement and so by Sunday we get back into dry weather and that hasn't changed at all in fact the implications for Northeast Florida remains the same even though it now gets a name of Nestor broad broad area low pressure uh, so we're not going to see this rapidly intensify the worst impacts as far as rain for the morning, mid-morning hours on Saturday, and then during the afternoon, we could see some stronger thunderstorms. All in all, about a one to two inches of rain will fall across the area. The ground is going to suck it up because it's been so dry here. No real flood concerns, and winds will be about 20 to 30 miles per hour, but some gusts could be higher. Here's that rain coming in around 11 o'clock tonight. Notice the I-75 corridor lifting into Jacksonville first thing Saturday morning. So even before the sun comes up, we're going to be hearing the rain come down. Notice that core of rain north of Tampa in the morning. That's going to pinwheel up into Jacksonville through the afternoon. And so 3 o'clock we could see some thunderstorms here. And I think across southern Georgia, we'll have to watch around 3 in the afternoon. This is the zone where if we see any tornadoes that could be isolated, be in that area. And then as the storm accelerates away on Sunday, we're back to some dry weather here as we head into early next week. For the rest of the day, temperatures in the 70s, not as cold tonight because of all that moisture lifting northward. The next time it gets as cool as this morning down in the 50s will be behind a, will be behind a front that comes in on Tuesday of the upcoming week. So we will see more fall-like temperatures as we head through the middle part of next week. More coming up with Rebecca Berry tonight on Channel 4, the local station.